It's a lot of single women that's out here. We've seen Nia Long, all of y'all black queens ain't able to get married. Allegedly, they get cheated on. They get left and all of this. And then y'all want to have a tell-all situation and get mad at the other person instead of getting mad at the person that you're with. And then he recovered because we told you that men are going to be valuable regardless. And the value of a man continues to go up regardless of how you see him. And Ime Udoka went from the Boston Celtics over to the Houston Rockets. And they thriving over there. And he making a whole bunch of money. And you thought that he was going to be left for dead. But you just got left by yourself with a, with a little kid because you decided to walk away from your family. Even though you were supposed to get married in the first place. And see. You didn't know that you was going to be left out in the cold because you didn't know that men was still more valuable. That's why they call us the prize. Because our greatness has yet to be realized. We age like wine. You age like milk. And so because we decide to bring you along for the ride and make you great just because you with us and now you single by yourself crying and complaining about the fact that you got to compete in the workplace like men and you're not getting what it is that I deserve. Now you understand what it takes in order to really be equal. And while that man is continuing to ascend and he's still going to be getting all of the women that he wants, now nah, he just ain't got you as an anchor holding him down, preventing him from being great. He ain't got to worry about what he's dealing with. Now he's free. And we finally get a good story going into 2024. And the only thing that you can say and the only thing you can think of is, I hate that for her. That's your tagline going into 2024. I hate that for her. Ugly, evil, trifling, fudder streets. Ugly, evil, and trifling. And for the streets is what we've seen the majority of these women turn themselves into. Monsters, trolls, straight up hood boogers, and builder bears. Tattoos on their face. Crazy. Hating on your sister because she holding down a relationship. And you're more likely to celebrate Lori Harvey than you are Simone Biles. I've seen women fight for, advocate for, and defend fiercely, fiercely Lori Harvey. And then these exact same women go off on Simone Biles. How? How did we get here? But I advocate for the fellas to just let them be. Stop trying to save them. The worst, the only thing worse than a woman that is a chameleon and evil is a simp that saves her because you're validating bad behavior. And I see Kevin Hart standing tall and I support him. Every guy need to get behind what Kevin Hart is doing right now. Because it kind of got swept under the rug and we're so used to being thrown under the bus and saying, believe all women that by default, whenever somebody come out and just assume that they say something validated by saying that they were standing next to you, we just by default believe it. Oh, we believed Cassie. OK, well, if her story was so believable and if she was fighting for justice, why did she take the money and go away immediately? If she was so believable. Because this ain't about Puff. It's about the, it's the accuser because she set off a chain of events that then validated bad behavior. And that's why these people feel so comfortable going out here and trying to extort men because it happens at the lowest level and it happens at the highest level. And they make these egregious accusations. And then by default, we just supposed to get on your side and tear our brother down. That's been building up, employing people, holding it down, married, taking care of his family, taking care of the people around him, taking care of the woman that he used to be with. And we supposed to just believe you. Why? Because you was an assistant that probably got fired, that was doing some underhanded stuff. And we just supposed to believe you, believe that you know everything and you wasn't even an assistant for that long. And so you get on a platform and the first thing that you do. You throw away your whole career because we know that you ain't never going to work anymore. And now the details is coming out. And so that's why I like to wait. That's why I don't jump on a story immediately is because I don't by default believe all women. I don't. Because how can I, if the sentiment of your heart is to turn against the Simone Biles versus 
supporting a Lori Harvey? How and why should I just be on your side against my bro bro that built the whole company, put all of his homies on, take them on tour, gave them careers, is a genuinely good person, and I'm supposed to just believe you. Why? Because you're a woman? He gave you a position. He gave you a job. He gave you an opportunity for you to leapfrog off of the opportunity in order to really, really make an impact and then build your network and then go on to do greater things. And you turned around and you went on a gossip blog in order to try to kill his name, lie on him, and then throw him under the bus. And I'm I'm thankful. I have never been more happy going into 2024 with the results of how this year turned out, including Simone Biles getting married and living in her bliss, and then also Kevin Hart suing the former assistant and making sure that he identified the real issue and is that they tried to extort him. According to all of the, uh, the reports online, they say that they were asking for a quarter of a million dollars or that they was going to go on the vlog and then tell all of the story. And finally, we had a man that said, man, I ain't giving you shit. That's the real story. He said, I ain't giving you nothing. You ran up on the right one today. And so they tried to extort him. They tried to extort him. They straight up tried to extort Kevin Hart. According to what it is that he said, and according to all of the news reports, the real story is that they went out and they tried to get him out of a quarter of a million dollars in order to get a payday. So let's 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 just put this in perspective, y'all. Let's really look at it for what it is. You work your whole life. You grind. You hustle. You get to it. You get the bag. And then somebody else walks in because they're young and they're a woman and they got fake hair and BBLs and all of this, right? And so they get an opportunity. And you never touched them. You never did anything to them. You never even made a pass at them. But then they can extort you out of monies that they didn't earn in order for... And then we think about this. We're supposed to believe them, right? You can do some underhanded stuff, but then we're supposed to believe you. And they can try to take everything that you've ever built and done and try to throw it in a trash can. But guess what? Kev is going to be straight. Kev is going to be just fine. And they're going to try to make accusations. And then she was on there speaking to and saying, hey, Nico, as though they were friends while she was absolutely trying to ruin that woman's marriage. And so finally, you got a man that stood up and said, nah, not today. Nope. Not only am I not paying you, but I'm also going to sue you and I want to garnish your check for everything that you earn in the future forever and a day. 